Hey guys, I want to share with you that today we're in Long Beach, California at Wahoo Fish Tacos. Sam next to me is one of the founders, Wing Lamb. Hey Wing, thanks for inviting us over. Thank you for having me. And I want to give you guys a little behind the scenes. We're here at one of their locations. And can you tell our viewers how many locations you guys are up to now? We have over 60 locations in seven states and one in Tokyo, Japan. Tokyo, how did yeah. that one get started? A friend of mine owns a sushi restaurant in Newport called Buddha's Favorites. Mm -hmm. And he said, hey, I can make sushi, I can make fish tacos. So he decided to take a store back to Japan. And that's an official... It's oh a, yeah, it's an official franchise and it's right. been doing great. Cool, cool. Yeah. Now, I know you got your start for the love of tacos, yeah. your trips to Baja yep. and going down there to go surfing and you do fishing too. Yes, I do. Yeah. And then what was the, the point that made you decide Hey, I can do this for a business. I can, you know, why don't I make some money at this? Well, everybody, all the surfers always talk about having a place to hang out after surfing. Well, there was nowhere in, in Orange County back in the 80s. So again, a lot of this and not enough action. So we thought, hey, we're the only kids that have a little bit of restaurant experience. Let's give it a try. And basically the rest is history. Cool. And you're part Brazilian, you said? Uh, actually, I'm, both my parents are Chinese. They've traveled the world. Okay. But I grew up and I was born and raised in Brazil. In Brazil? In Brazil. So you have the Chinese Brazilian. Yes, we do. So that's the next inspiration for the next taco. <laughs> yeah, and what was cool is, you know, when you think of Wahoo Fish Tacos, you know you're famous for uh, making tacos out of Wahoo. Yes. But back in the 80s, 90s, oh, who was, would think about using Wahoo? Everybody thought because it was such a, you know, premium kind of fish. Right. Basically, you made it into steaks as a you know, main course. Right. So nobody was crazy enough to make tacos. And I said, hey, if you're going to try to make the best fish taco, why not start with the best ingredient? So that's what we did. We started with Wahoo. Cool. Can you give our viewers a little tip at home for if they're going to try making fish tacos at home, <laughs> what not to do or tip to do? Well, the tip to do at home is if you're going to try to grill it, try to start with something that's a little firm, like, say, any of the tunas. But you got to be careful, though, because the tunas tend to dry up really quickly. Right. So mahi-mahi, uh, wahoo, albacore, uh, halibut, they tend to be a little bit better, I think, than the tunas, because the tunas just dry up so quickly. Okay. And you know, make sure not to overcook it. That's right. the biggest thing. That's, the biggest, that's the biggest thing. So you want to make sure that you have also everything else ready, and the fish is the last thing. Because you want the fish, because you know the joke is like, you know, you let a steak sit there for a while, uh -huh. because it's still cooking. Well, the same thing happens to fish. So you want to make sure that you get all your salsas, your guacamoles, everything else done, and then have your fish ready. And when that comes off the grill, everybody start grabbing their stuff. And just assemble. Yeah, just assemble. That's cool. And right here, you got a little piece of wahoo going on. Oh, yes, we do. And then it's basically, basically perfectly done right there. See? That looks good. So put that over there in our holding pan, and we get a tortilla for you guys. We got the last version. So, <clears throat> the traditional taco requires two tortillas. But, you know, we've been hearing a lot of grumbling about people wanting to cut down on their calorie intake, especially carbs. So we're going to do one tortilla. But in order to use one tortilla and not have it fall apart because you got so much stuff going inside of it, we have to cheat a little bit. So we're going to take the cheese that normally we would have put on top, we're going to put on the bottom. And the cheese kind of helps hold the tortilla together. So, so just a little bit right there. And as it, the cheese melts, it kind of adds another layer to the taco. Mm -hmm. And it, that prevents the taco when you're grabbing it, because I know you're going to be tasting it later, oh, yeah. from falling all over you. Right. And this is amazing, and it's just, and the melted cheese also tastes a little bit different than regular cheese. Yeah, no, it does. Because I've had it with the cheese sprinkled on top, but the one I had here at your restaurant before, with that cheese melted, yeah. it's a totally different flavor. It is. And it becomes almost like a quesadilla taco. Right. And it's just, mmm. Melt in your mouth. We love melted cheese. Like grilled cheese sandwich. Who doesn't yeah. love a great grilled cheese? Another nice thing, you know, that Wing likes to go fishing. And uh, recently we've been talking about my youth foundation. Yeah. So we're trying to find some ways to work together <clears throat> oh, yeah. to help uh, feed the kids at our youth events and stuff. And it's nice to meet somebody that's out there that's so active in different foundations and different activities and that's one of the things I was really attracted to well, try to we're find we're going to you. try to find, like you said, our schedules have been a little bit, you know, hard yeah. to work with. But right now, I think we're going, I think we're good for the fall. I think we've got cool. some good dates coming up. As you can see, the cheese is almost melted, so I'm going to go ahead and get a plate over here. So this is going to be our Asian-inspired taco. So again, we grab a little piece of the nice grilled wahoo. We 
you can see how nice and white tortilla is. Yeah. That is the amazing part. So here we go. And so we came up with a new version of what we call it a kimchi inspired. And it's got the Asian flavors too. That's kimchi on top? That's kimchi. It's our version of it. All right, Danny, it's your turn. You gotta see what it tastes like now. Yeah, I haven't had a kimchi taco Yeah, exactly. Before. So you're gonna see a little bit of the cider taste to it, the more vinegary base, but it all kind of comes well together. That's delicious. So nobody's doing anything like this. You can have a traditional one with two tortillas. You can have one with the Asian, the regular slaw, mm -hmm. citrus slaw, and now you can have something that has more of an Asian bite to it. And this is so unique with the melted cheese. Yeah. Wahoo is the fish. Yep. Nobody serves tacos nope. with Wahoo and then the kimchi on top. That's pretty <laughs> awesome. But thanks a lot. And for our viewers, where can they find you? Wahoos.com is the first website. We're on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We're all over the place. Yeah, and if you see them uh, like speaking at an event or running a, a food show somewhere, you go visit Wing. Really nice guy. And he'll be glad to talk to you about fish. But well, let's it. get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sportfish.